Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sabrina if you're new here. Over the past few years, I've been dealing with a whole lot more acne on my skin. So I've been kind of sharing my journey with you. I've done skincare routines. I've done a whole acne journey video. Because of all this, I've really learned how to deal with my skin, how to treat my skin, and just like really good skincare habits that really help my skin and help get rid of my acne. So I thought I'd sit down and share with you guys five skincare habits that will help heal your skin. My first habit that has really changed my skin, which I haven't incorporated till like the last few months, is doing morning cleanses for 60 seconds. There were so many people that I was following on Instagram and I think it was a big trend for a while not to cleanse your skin in the morning, which for some people's skin type, that works great. But for me, it just was not working out. So I find morning cleansing very important, very crucial in my routine. And I think it's definitely something that's worth a try if you're having trouble with your skin, if you're having trouble with oil and acne. It's basically what happens overnight, you get lots of excess sebum buildup on your skin, which contains like oil, dirt, dead skin cells. That can cause like a film of layer over your skin, which can be very heavy and actually pore clogging to your skin. And then if you're just layering all your skincare products on top of it, a lot of your products are not gonna actually work and penetrate into your skin. So I think a cleanse is so important. Do a 60 second cleanse. It's the perfect amount of time to really work into your skin, get off that extra oil and dirt from the night before. If you have more oily skin, you can do a very, very gentle like gel cleanser. And if you have more dry skin, you can do more of a cream milky cleanser. You can maybe skip it if you have very dry skin, but give it a go, see if it makes a difference in your skin. Another crucial, crucial habit that you have to introduce into any person's routine, no matter what, this is something that you cannot skip, proper makeup removal. And I might be another repeated person saying, don't use makeup wipes, but if you haven't heard it yet, do not use makeup wipes, please. No judgment here, but I'm here to help you with your skin. That could be one of the biggest reasons. And maybe you're even using, like, I'm using a micellar water. It's good. It's not enough. Because basically with all those kind of products like micellar waters or makeup wipes, you are just moving around the product on your face. Maybe some of it's coming off on the cloth, but most of the time you're just kind of mushing it further into your skin. I highly, highly recommend double cleansing and introducing a really good cleansing balm or cleansing oil into your routine. You have to get off the makeup and then you have to clean your face. I really, really love the Glow Recipe Papaya Cleansing Balm. I have a video where I use it in my nighttime routine as well as a reel on my Instagram. I've tried so many creams and oils and I find cleansing balms are just the best. They break down even waterproof mascara, so I don't have to go back in with an eye makeup remover or anything like that. And then you have to cleanse after as well just to like wash your face. And doing that, you'll be sure to take off all your makeup and doing the 60 seconds of massaging both times seems like it's a big process, but it's only gonna take two minutes. If you're getting that makeup off properly, your pores are not gonna get clogged overnight because if you have the makeup settling in all the divots in your face, it's a given that it's gonna fog your pores. And on that note, I'm gonna take you to the next one is ingredients. Ingredients in your makeup, in your skincare, is so crucial. What you're putting topically on your face is really gonna change it. There is so many pore clogging ingredients in makeup especially, but also in skincare. If not like clogging, just very irritating to the skin. So I think it's good to be very aware of those kind of things. Especially if you're more prone to acne, maybe trying to skip out on some of those products or just making sure you have less of it in your routine. There are so many night creams and stuff like that that are full of like silicones and everything like that. That's just gonna be going into your pores and clogging them overnight. It's found in a lot of products and it's hard to cut it out. So just maybe trying to find like less products of it and just being more aware of it. Other ingredients such as talc can be very irritating and clogging to your skin as well. It's found in loads of foundations, concealers, powders, blushes, etc. And for me, that was the biggest thing that changed my skin. Um, just cutting out any face-based products with talc has transformed my skin. It was just too heavy and pore clogging to my skin. Introduce products into your routine one at a time. So you can see, take them out one at a time. It's a long process. You gotta be patient. Your skin's not gonna just change overnight. And it will also help you to be more intentional with your purchases and not just buy everything you see. One thing that has changed my skin is taking more of a less is more approach. Having a very simple, soothing, calming routine I think is great. If you have so many products, 
so many like treatments and everything, you have a really great chance of destroying your skin barrier, which is gonna affect everything. It's like a downhill spiral when you destroy your skin barrier. Slowly like taking these steps and especially taking the less and very gentle, simple approach um, has really restored my skin. And because of that, my skin is so much more stronger and healthier and softer and smoother. <laughs> One big like kind of point with this less is more approach is don't just throw all your acids on your face when you have like a zit. It's always good when you're using like treatments, acids, chemical peels, introduce them very, very slowly and maybe just like once a week even and give your skin time for it to actually work, for it to restore and um, calm down. Once I started getting acne, I bought like a really crazy intense toner, not knowing much about it either. And I just started putting it on like every time I saw a zit, every day and my skin just got so overwhelmed, I ended up breaking out more, and I would just do it every day, so my skin never got a break to restore and heal itself. So I could probably do a whole separate video on like how to like build a skincare routine for yourself. Let me know if you'd be interested in that. Just being gentle, slow, and having a smaller amount of products, I think is super important. I really highly recommend an ice roller and it's so affordable on Amazon. I will link it down below. This is my favorite one because a lot of them look really ugly with like bright colors and I wanted a nice white aesthetic one. This is really, really gonna calm down inflammation and acne, reduce redness, reduce puffiness as well. And it just really creates lots of circulation in your skin, which is just gonna bring the blood to the surface and which also just helps with um, cell renewal, cell turnover, which just really help heal your acne faster and more effectively. So whenever I see some acne come in, roll it on my face right away. I just store it in this little, sandwich bag in my freezer and I just whip it out whenever I see my skin needs it. I really highly recommend putting an ice roller into your routine. It's inexpensive and very effective and it's very easy and not time consuming either to add into your routine. So the last thing I want to talk about to kind of like wrap up this video is finding your routine. Figuring that out is so important because there's so many, so many great skincare routines on YouTube that I love to watch. I love the Harper's Bazaars, Go to Bed With Me, Mix Makeup, Hiram, you know, all these celebrity skincare Keratines, they're so fun to watch. And they seem so like fancy, and then you just want the products that they're using, the tools that they're using. Don't jump on bandwagons, all these trends, all these influencer marketing. Honestly, it's they're just often a money grab, or they're just for like the enjoyment, or you just see something that someone else has and wants it. But is it actually gonna work for your skin? That's the biggest question. They have completely different skin than you, and they often don't go into detail about their skin, so how's the product gonna even react on your face? If you're trying out a new product, maybe just introduce one at a time. Don't just buy like a whole new skincare routine and introduce it. Because if you add one thing, you'll know if it's bothering your skin. If you're adding like five different things, you won't know what's bothering your skin. You're gonna be so thrown off and confused. Examining what your skin needs daily is so important. Adapting your skincare to your face that day when you wake up, that evening when you go to bed. You might just have this routine that you use this toner every day, this serum every day, but does your skin actually need the ingredients? Being more mindful about the products you use, listening to your skin, and I think that honestly is the biggest, biggest thing you can do for your skin. And hopefully that was easy to understand. If you want me to go in depth a little bit more on any of these topics, let me know in the comments below. Let me know if you have any questions about anything in this video. If you want something explained a little bit more better, I, I would love to respond to you guys. I love, love helping people in their skincare routine to feel like their best self. If you did like this video and you are excited for more skincare videos, give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe it down below, and definitely check out my Instagram as well. It's always linked down below. I have a few skincare reels on there as well if you want more of some quick content. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.